Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed viewers and cherished subscribers of Green Ground, I am your host, Alvin, and today we are diving deep into the cinematic world, unraveling the layers of a film that has been the talk of the town. Yes, you guessed it right. We are talking about none other than Martin Scorsese's latest masterpiece, Killers of the Flower Moon. Now, before we delve into the nitty gritty of this film, let's take a moment to appreciate the genius that is Martin Scorsese. This man has gifted us with cinematic treasures over the decades, from Taxi Driver to Goodfellas, and his work has always been a topic of admiration and discussion among film enthusiasts. But what makes Scorsese stand out in today's Hollywood is his vocal stance against the tidal wave of remakes, sequels, and superhero movies that seem to have taken over the industry. He is a beacon of original storytelling, and for that, he has earned a legendary status in my book. Now, on to Killers of the Flower Moon. This film takes us back in time, unraveling a chapter of American history that has long been overshadowed and forgotten. Set in the early 20th century, the film tells the gripping story of the Osage tribe, a Native American community that found itself on the brink of financial prosperity due to the discovery of oil on their land. But as we all know, with great wealth comes great envy and greed. The film introduces us to a myriad of characters, but the one that stands out is Ernest Burkhart, portrayed by the ever-charming Leonardo DiCaprio, Ernest finds himself caught in a web of deception, manipulated by his uncle, William Hale, to marry into the Osage tribe and help him gain access to their newfound wealth. It's a tale of conspiracy, murder, and betrayal, with the tension building up to a crescendo, leaving the audience on the edge of their seats. But here's where the film takes a turn. At a staggering three and a half hours, Killers of the Flower Moon is an epic, but it's an epic that demands your patience and attention. Scorsese, in his signature style, takes his time to unravel the story, immersing the audience in the world he has created. The cinematography is top-notch, the performances are stellar, and the atmosphere of tension and dread is palpable. But as the end approaches, the film seems to lose its way, meandering on without a clear sense of direction. Now, I know what you're thinking. Alvin, are you really criticizing Scorsese? And to that I say yes, because even legends can have their off days in Killers of the Flower Moon, while a visual treat is not without its flaws. The film could have benefited from a tighter script and more focused storytelling, exploring the themes it touches upon in greater depth. But let's not forget the performances. Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro deliver what you would expect from actors of their caliber, but it's the Native American actors who truly steal the show. Lily Gladstone's portrayal of Molly is heart-wrenching, capturing the essence of a woman caught in a whirlwind of tragedy and deception. As we dissect this film, it's important to remember the message at its core. The Osage murders were a dark chapter in American history, one that was swept under the rug and forgotten. Scorsese, through this film, brings this story to light, urging us to remember and reflect. It's a film that demands to be seen, not just for its artistic merit, but for the story it tells, now, dear viewers, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Killers of the Flower Moon? Do you think Scorsese has delivered another masterpiece? Or do you agree with my take on the film? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and let's get a conversation started. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Green Ground for more content like this. We've got plenty more reviews, discussions, and deep dives coming your way, and you won't want to miss out. For more information on Killers of the Flower Moon and to delve deeper into the topics we've discussed today, be sure to check out the description below. We've got all the details you need and more. So until next time, this is Alvin signing off. Keep watching, keep discussing, and keep loving cinema. Cheers.